Hey Taurus, welcome to the love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be for the rest of 2019. Of course, time is not linear. You guys know how this works. Uh, whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it, even if it's a year from now. Okay, so Taurus, let's just dive right in. Those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first. Then I go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then I get into the actual reading. Okay, so if you're new to tarot or new to energy work or how this works <laughs> or certain terminologies or you need a little crash course, there's a link below for how to interpret tarings as a viewer. You can also find co extra content that you can't find on YouTube of mine on Patreon and Vimeo. Okay, it's different content. They're not extended. All right. Taurus, let's get into your meditative session. I actually didn't get very much, okay? Um, they showed me a scene, and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is kind of an intense scene. Uh, it's so, like, they showed me deer. They showed me, um, I don't, do they call them packs of deer? Why do I feel like they have a different term for them? I don't know why I feel like they have a different term, but a group, we'll just say a group. A group of deer. And you know, like, animals hearing, they're very sensitive typically way more sensitive than a human's hearing. So if there's like an animal that scruffles along or if they hear someone like step on something, what do animals do? They go like, er, like alert. What is that? What is that? What is that? Uh, Taurus, keep in mind when we're talking about energy, it can be someone else. It could be someone that you're connecting with um, that I'm talking about, or it could be someone within your environment that I'm talking about. Okay. Or of course it can be you. It's energy. It's fluid. It's not linear. So just keep that in mind. If it's not resonating with you, it could be someone in your life. But Taurus, yeah, it's like, it's alert time. It's alert time. And I feel like it's on the periphery of you. I feel like it's on the periphery of you. Like, it's not direct. Like, it's not like something's happening to you and you go into hyper alert mode. No, it's like something's happening either to someone close to you, like in your periphery or like in your outer circle or something's happening in your environment. Like your out, outer, they're telling me outer, your outer environment or your outer circle. And that's alerting you to a situation or alerting you to something here, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you're either hearing of news of, of something happening to somebody or, um, or in your workplace. Like, for example, just a straight-up example, like, let's say, you know, you're at work and you find out someone gets fired. And you're like, oh, shit, why did they get fired? They make the same thing. They make the same money I do. They're at the same standing as me. Oh no, am I going to get cut next? You know, it's it's that kind of energy of there's something happening on the on the outside of you, outside of your immediate environment, and you're like, shit, something something similar like that could happen to me. It's just putting you on alert. It's putting you on alert, okay? All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get into pre-shuffle here. I'm using Cosmic Tarot for your primary. Closing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the rest of 2019. Pleasing for new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. I'm hearing gem. It could be dealing with a Gemini. It could be a cusper. Protecting. Uh, Taurus, you're going into protecting mode. Yeah, whatever this is that's happening in your, again, it's periphery. Your periphery environment or happening to someone close to you or someone you know. It's putting on alert for for your own, like for your own stuff, like try, trying to like go into preemptive mode. Thank you, preemptive protection mode. Trying to maybe protect your assets. It's making you aware that you have to take some action to protecting yourself. Ew, this might relate to the recession that's coming. I'm just being honest here. Please bring forward messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Please bring forward new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Let's see what we have here. Oh, a bunch of cards came out. We have Eight of Swords, Gemini Energy, King of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic Energy, could also be Water or Air, Two of Wands in reverse, Aries, and then we have, Jesus, the Five of Cups, and then Princess of Pentacles in reverse, equivalent to the Page of Cups in reverse. Um, Page of Pentacles, excuse me, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting, Page of Cups wanted to come out. Yeah, there's heavy emotion here. Um, losing, losing, losing. Someone's really worried that they're going to lose something that's precious to them. I don't think this loss has happened yet. I don't think this loss has happened yet. I feel like it's that preemptive, like, 
oh shit, is that going to happen to me? Because we have the Eight of Swords with the King of Cups in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse. This is fear. I'm getting straight up fear with this Taurus. I'm being super honest here. <laughs> straight up fear. Um, and then Two of Wands in reverse, not knowing what to do. Indecisive. Yeah, this is someone who doesn't know what to do. They're afraid and they don't know what to do. Because they're worried they're about to lose something because they weren't careful. Or they're about, or that they're about to lose something um, of tangible means like money or security yeah it's like it's something precious it's something precious i'm hearing precious you know this could also be something as mundane as finding out that like the person you like is starting to date someone you're like oh shit i lost my chance right it could even be that it could even be something as mundane as that but for some of you this is definitely financial i am hearing investments for some of you this is financial sorry i know i repeated that when I'm in it, I'm just in it. <laughs> Please forward of any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm hearing it's already lost. It's already lost. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus. Oh, we got the world. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which is real Capricorn. Got a lot of Cappy energy for the next couple of months. So whatever's being lost, I mean, it kind of feels like it needs to happen. And they're telling me it's already lost. Like, I feel like this person is trapped in fear and not knowing what to do because they want to hold on to whatever it is that they might be losing. That they're like, oh shit, is it too late? I'm about to lose this. I have to protect myself. I have to protect this precious thing or person or investment. But they're telling me it's already lost. But then you have the world, which tells me there's a whole brand new spanking thing <laughs> happening here uh, with this loss. It needs to go. It needs to be lost. It needs to be lost. It needs to be lost, and there's a whole new cycle starting here because of it. <sighs> yeah, and there it is. The Ten of Wands with the Tower. Sag energy, and then the Tower Scorp uh, Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. Yeah, someone's about to lose something big. For some, it's finances. Some, it could even be being demoted at work or losing a job. Oh, I did just hear a career. Someone might have to do a major career shift because they're losing their career or steady income but the world is here that tells me there's a beautiful cycle that can start here but whatever this person's worried about losing because of whatever they're hearing of happening to someone in their life or on the periphery that's alerting them to oh shit i might lose this thing or this job or my income or this person it's already lost they're telling me it's already lost when the tower comes out guys it's inevitable you can't stop the tower but once it comes down and once that thing is lost, you get to, it's like it's a clean slate. It feels very necessary. It feels very necessary. Okay, Taurus, let's go ahead and get into actual reading. I know, I don't want to like scare you guys. Don't worry. It's not some, you know, everything's going to be fine. You got the world there. Everything's going to be just fine. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. Um, so it's not your story. It's not your story. That's okay. We're reading for thousands of people. Can't be everybody's story. Please don't try to make it fit either. And please support those who resonate with the reading. Okay. Um, also, guys, like I said, we are working with energy. So just know messages can be reversed or vice versa. You'll know if it's your story. It will resonate with you. Okay. Uh, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. So if we get all kings, it could still be you. And if you're a biological female, it's just energy. It's not gender. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else is part of my spiel? I like, I always feel like I forget something. Oh, and of course, like I said, time is not linear. So whenever you're going to watch a reading, you're going to watch it. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. Any messages for Taurus? Yeah, I can feel it. Like whatever Taurian energy I'm tapped into uh, is feeling very threatened. And it's, it's because of whatever they're seeing on the out, like on their outside environment or hearing of happening to someone on their outside environment. It's like they're feeling threatened. They're feeling threatened and, and scared. Yeah, threatened and scared. And going into how do I how do I hold on to what I've worked so hard on or how do I work, hold on to the thing that's precious to me or the thing I've invested in? Or hold on to my finances and the truth of it is it's going to be lost it's already lost any messages for taurus 
regarding love for the rest of 2019. Any messages for Taurus? Oh, hold on, I got a peeker. <laughs> King of Cups wanted to come out again. Upright this time. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. I am getting fire. I'm getting fire. Give it all the fire sign. You could have fire in your chart. Or it's going to be someone you're connecting with. Yeah, someone has a lot of emotional attachment to something or someone or an investment or a job or, an, or a steady income or it's like a dream, something that they've invested in or held on to. And it, it could just be their fantasy. It could just be the thing they've always wanted, but they have a lot of emotional attachment to it or them. Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the rest of 2019? Ew. Prince of Cups in reverse. It's like equivalent to the night for those who are not familiar. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. This is interesting. Whatever they've been holding on to, there hasn't actually been much progression. I feel like there's just the energy of movement or lack thereof. So let's say it's an investment, right? Let's say it's a financial investment. There hasn't really been any growth in this financial investment. They haven't had any returns on it. If it's a person, there hasn't been any progress between them. There hasn't been any, like, going on a date and then going on more dates. And then, oh, you're my boyfriend, you're my girlfriend. Oh, oh, now we're moving in together. You know what I mean? Like, there hasn't been any movement there. Whatever they're holding on to, it's been stagnant. And I feel like it's kind of lost already. Oh, this is kind of sad. Oh, Jesus, Taurus. Okay. Two more cards came out. Ooh. King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. Oh, shit, yeah, this is more standstill. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, there's no movement whatsoever. A change needs to happen. A change needs to happen. With this King of Pentacles in reverse, usually to me that's a sign that someone's been very, very money focused or that someone's not very confident in something. That's why there's been no movement. We got two people here. Both masculine energies. Again, we're reading energy, not gender. This could be a man and a woman. This could be two women. This could be two men. Take your pick. Um, but whoever's whoever has the emotional attachment, there hasn't been any movement there because the other person is completely stagnant themselves. This person is very self-focused. So if this person went into an investment with this person, this person's not working on it. <laughs> This person's working on themselves and their own shit, right? But it's causing stagnancy. It's causing stagnancy. The per this person's been experiencing some unfortunate luck and circumstances is what I'm getting to. Yeah, I'm hearing unfortunate. Unfortunate. This person's in an unfortunate situation. The wheel's not turning in their favor. And this person's... Hold on. It's really more like this on my board. And this person's looking at them like... I need, I need four hands. <laughs> This person is looking at them like, why do we not have any movement between us? What's going on here? Why is the investment we have together not working out? Because they're going through some shit. They're going through some shit and it's almost like they're digging their heels in. They're being very stubborn in whatever situation they're finding themselves in. And I feel like whatever's happening to this person, it's alerting this person that something's about to be lost. Yeah, there's that. There it is. There it is. Yep. Whatever this person's going through... It's making this person realize that not only is there hasn't been any progress because of what they're going through, but now this person's realizing, oh shit, I'm about to lose the thing I've invested in, the thing I've been wanting to hold on to. Jesus. Okay, let's keep it going. So I mean, this is purely financial. I keep getting like, all this like money references. Any other messages for Taurus? Any other messages for Taurus regarding love for the rest of 2019? I did just hear 2020, so this might go into January or February. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. Total stalemate. What do I, what, what, what to do? What to do, what to do, what to do? What to do? Any messages for Taurus? Regarding love, the rest of 2019. Yeah, someone, re yeah. This King of Cups is realizing that it's about to be lost. Now we have High Priestess. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. Someone doesn't know what to do, but deep down, they know it's already lost. They know that they know that this person is going through some shit or just doing things in a very selfish, maybe low vibe way, causing the wheel to not turn in their favor, causing them. It's almost like they're falling deeper 
into a hole is what I'm getting. Yeah, like they're falling deeper into a hole. They're digging themselves out. They're digging themselves, not digging themselves out. They're digging themselves deeper into whatever mess they're finding themselves in. And this person's like, oh my God, this is why there hasn't been movement between us. This is why there hasn't been growth between us or growth in our investment. And I've been very emotionally invested in whatever the investment is or the relationship or the business deal, whatever. And now this person's realizing because of this, that they're being alerted to, oh man, it's about to be lost. It's about to be lost. And now I need to figure out how to protect what I have left. That could be emotional, how to protect what's remaining of my heart. How do you protect uh, the finances that I have left because a business deal has gone awry? Take your pick, it's that kind of energy. It's that kind of energy. Overall, we do have Queen of Swords in reverse. Mm. There's about to be some cutthroat decisions. <laughs> Libra energy it could also be air or water. Oh, the, yeah, I totally feel it. There's about to be some cutthroat decisions here. Ooh, feels very icy. Yeah, so I know I sound like a broken record. I just want to make it very clear because I know this is a little bit of a complicated energy. So you have two people who are investing in something or who decided to invest in something, a relationship business, money, financial investment, whatever. A king of pentacles in reverse, no less, uh, is up, it has found themselves in a predicament and some unfortunate circumstances and they're just falling deeper into it because they're not handling it in a healthy way or they're going about it in a low vibe way. The other person they made this investment with um, is very emotionally invested and they're now realizing because of the circumstances this king of pentacles is finding themselves in, oh shit, it's about to be lost. And their intuition's telling them that. Their intuition's telling them that. And with the two of swords, they have to figure out what to do. Overall, there's about to be some cutthroat decisions. And I do feel that there's been a major holding back of communication and honesty that's been adding to the problem. So let's break this down a little bit. Let's look at the King of Cups. Hmm. I'm going to use Radiant Wise for this one. I have the King of Cups for Taurus regarding love. The rest of 2019. Tell me about the King of Cups for Taurus. Yeah, the King of Pentacles is really holding back a lot of information. A lot is what I'm gathering. A lot. Tell me about the King of Cups in reverse. I gotta be honest, I'm getting like weird money shit. Like, I'm getting like money laundering. I just heard scam artist. What? Okay. Okay, something about King of Cups. Yeah, I don't, I'm not liking this King of Pentacles energy. And Taurus, I know it is your court card, but of course you could very well be in the King, be the King of Cups here, or this could be someone in your life that is experiencing this. Um, but yeah, I don't like this King of Pentacles energy. I do feel like they're, they kind of hide a lot of shit and they're not really up to, you know, they're not squeaky clean. They're not squeaky clean. Something about the King of Cups for Taurus. Time of the King of Cups for Taurus regarding love for the rest of 2019. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. I just heard it's a family matter. That's only for some of you. That's not for all of you. It's a family matter. Time about King of Cups for Taurus. I keep hearing Scorpio. Time about King of Cups for Taurus regarding love for the rest of 2019. So I'm about the King of Cups. Let's see here. We've got the world in reverse. So fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Jules, Capricorn. Judgment. Wow. A lot of major arcana coming out for this King of Cups. Uh, fire energy, also Scorpionic energy. Ten of Cups in reverse, Pisces. Ooh, and then we got the hangman, Piscean energy. This king knows they gotta pull out. That's seriously what I'm hearing. I'm hearing all these like financial business terms. This King of Cups has to pull out and they know it. They know they have to end a cycle with this King of Pentacles. They know they have to. They know it. They know it because they're unhappy because they're not seeing a return in their investment, whether it's just a relationship or a business deal or a financial investment. And with the hangman, there's been major stagnancy, major stagnancy. And when the stagnancy, their intuition has been screaming at them like, hey, they're up to something. Hey, they're up to something. They're not on your side. They're not on your side, Taurus. They're not on your side. You know, you got to end this cycle. You know, you have to. Wow. All 
All right, let's keep it going. Talk about the King of Cups for Taurus. Talk about the King of Cups for Taurus. Talk about the King of Cups for Taurus regarding love for the rest of 2019. Damn. Now I feel betrayal with this. We got Ten of Swords out here. Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Overall, we do have the Moon in reverse, Piscean energy. Could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. And the Two of Swords in reverse, Moon and Libra energy. This King of Cups knows they have to make a decision to end this cycle. They got to get out now. I'm hearing get out now. I'm literally hearing get out now. Get out now. Jesus. And then we end with this Ten of Swords in reverse. I do feel like this King of Cups senses a betrayal from this King of Pentacles. Because, yeah, their intuition screaming at them like this person's not on your side. Not on your side. Let's look at the Ten of Swords. I'm going to use um, the Kipper deck for this one, actually. Tell me the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, some, like, honestly, most of you, I feel like this is like a bad business deal gone awry. I'm so many financial terms we've, that have come up. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in reverse. Talk about the Ten of Swords in reverse for Taurus regarding love. Is that what I think it is? Oh, God. I was like, don't let that be the false person. So we have message, which is about communication here. Communication or news. I feel like it's news. I feel like it's that news, that alert system of like, oh, oh, shit, what's about to happen? Sorry, I'm trying to make it lighthearted. Talk about Ten of Swords in reverse. Talking about Ten of Swords in reverse for Taurus regarding love for the rest of 2019. Let's see. Ooh. We've got marriage and thoughts. Marriage can just be a long-standing partnership in business or in love. Um, with communication with marriage and thoughts, someone's been really thinking about um talking about this, talking about pulling out or talking about, hey, you know what? My intuition's telling me that you're up to some shit. <laughs> And it's really making me worry because Ten of Swords in a verse, straight up betrayal. Like I, that's all I'm getting off of this. Straight up betrayal. And this person's intuition is like, you really need to end this now and get out now. They know something's up. They know something's up and they're, and they're trying to figure out how to talk about it. They're trying to figure out how to bring it up. Let's see here. Can I work with the Ten of Swords in a verse? Can I work with the Ten of Swords in a verse? Oh, that's it. Overall, we do have, yeah, see, journey, ending the cycle, ending the cycle. Then we have, ooh, whoa, great fortune, judication. Oh, shit, and imprisonment. Okay. Great fortune is abundance. Okay. It could be abundance of wealth. It could be abundance of health. It could be stability, right? Um, it's something that makes you feel very just taken care of and very secure. Judication is a, in, um, a mediation energy or an, um, an intervention kind of energy where there's a, usually a third party trying to mediate between two people. Okay, so that could be like very much like a legal proceeding. You can see they're even in a courthouse. So that could be divine intervention to either get these two parties to have some kind of resolution and go about their way, bring them together, or just have them go their separate ways. But with imprisonment and judication, with money here, I someone might someone might be taken to court. Okay, I'm just being honest with you. Someone might seriously be taken to court. Imprisonment is like a nine of swords energy. So being very worried about how to deal with this other person. There, I just heard there's a lot on the line. There's a lot on the line. Uh, with the great fortune, that's the investment that this King of Cups is so emotionally invested in. Whether it is supposed to be a beautiful actual marriage that they want. Or a business partnership to gain wealth or gain some sort of uh, financial independence. Or have a, a return on a financial investment. Something's not right and they know it. And they know it and they want to get out. They want out because their intuition is telling them you need to pull out now. Like now. Whew. Okay. So let's keep going. So Prince of Cups in reverse, like I said, that's just like the stagnancy energy between the two of them. Like there's no progression, right? It can also be an energy of a charmer. Um, it can also be an energy of someone who's emotionally manipulative. So let's go to this character and see what's going on with them. I'm more curious about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse because the wheel's not turning in their favor. So let's look at the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Um, why am I so worried to look at this? 
<laughs> ah, uh, I'm gonna use uh, Gilded. I'm gonna use Gilded for this one. Time at Wheel of Fortune in verse. Attach this King of Pentacles. So I got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, I, oh. This person hides a lot. They hide a lot. So I got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So I got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Taurus regarding love for 2019. Oh, we've got an Empress, a uh, Venusian, so Libra Taurus. Interesting. Okay. 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 So I feel like this King of Pentacles has their sights on an Empress. Something's not going in the King of Pentacles' favor regarding an Empress. I also feel like the Empress is kind of at the center of this. This is weird. Why do I feel like they're at the center of this? I think both of these kings know this Empress. Both of these kings know this empress. And whatever the king of pentacles wants regarding the empress, it's not going in their favor. I feel like the empress is in good standing. I feel like this, um, this, I feel like this empress is in really good standing. Um, honestly, yeah, I, I feel like this empress is actually very financially stable. But this King of Pentacles has their eye on them for some reason. And I don't like the way they have their eye on them because this King of Pentacles is, is going through some unfortunate circumstances. This King of Cups knows this Empress as well. And how, God, this is such an intricate thing. This King of Cups, this King of Cups and this King of Pentacles, they've got some kind of connection or investment going on. And it does feel mostly financial, okay? This King of Pentacles knows this Empress. And this King of Cups knows this Empress. This Empress is doing good. This Empress is doing fine. This King of Pentacles is eyeing this Empress, but I don't like the way they're eyeing them. It feels a little like prey. You know what I mean? It feels a little bit like prey. All right, let's keep going. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, damn it. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yep, God damn it. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse i knew this king had this eye on this empress look what just came out i knew they had this eye on this empress i could feel it could feel it it, it felt like prey like predator and prey tell me about wheel of fortune in reverse tell me about wheel of fortune in reverse for taurus now we have the knight of pentacles that just came out here so these are all the cards clarifying wheel of fortune in reverse so this King of Pentacles, like I said, has their eye on this Empress for whatever reason or another. Could be a business proposal with special with the Knight of Pentacles here or just some kind of offer. Could also be a flirty, flirty offer. Page of Wands can be quite flirty here, but I don't think it's gone in their favor. I think the Empress might have said no. Over energy, we do have the, her yeah, yep, Hermit, Virgo energy, yep. And then we've got the Chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy. This Empress denied them. This Empress denied them. I feel like there's way more going on with this king besides this offer. I actually feel like the Empress is in a better financial standing than the King of Pentacles, which is kind of interesting. So this could have totally been a business offer to this Empress. And I think the Empress said no. Because, this, yeah, this King of Pentacles, I'm getting that, that falling deeper into the hole, falling deeper into the hole. I think this King of Pentacles is in debt, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, they're in debt. I can feel it. They're either in financial debt or they just don't have much stability in their life. And they look at this empress who's doing really well. They made some kind of offer or proposal to this empress or will if this hasn't happened for you yet. But they're going to get denied and they're going to try to figure out why. And as this is happening, it's alerting the king of cups that something's not right with this king of pentacles. That's what that fucking is. Jesus, so complicated. <laughs> Why'd you guys get such a complicated read? Yeah. This King of Cups is watching this go down, this offer to this Empress, and this King of Pentacles is like, yeah, I'll be fine. The Empress, the Empress has more than me. The Empress can, the Empress can help me. And the Empress says no. And the King of Cups gets word of this or is watching this, and that's their cue of, oh, I gotta get out now. I can't be dealing with this King of Pentacles. I can't be dealing with this King of Pentacles. It's almost like, what's that phrase? There's a phrase for this, like robbing Peter to pay Paul. 
Yeah, this King of Cups knows it. God, so complicated. Okay. All right, so let's keep going. Jesus. So like I said, that's the alert system to the King of Cups of something's not right. Some shit ain't right here. Some shit ain't right. And they know that they have to make that decision. They know they have to make that decision to leave. They know they have to. Because if they stay, something something terrible is going to happen between the King of Cups and this King of Pentacles if this King of Cups stays dealing with this King of Pentacles. But let's look at the Three of Pentacles in reverse. I'm just overwhelmed at how complicated this one is. Uh, what deck do I want? What deck do I want? Oh, let's do crystal. Let's do crystal. Jeez. So I have three of pentacles in reverse. So I have the three of pentacles in reverse. This, they're reminding me of family matter, family member, family matter. Um, this could just be like all between family members, between these three people. We have an empress. We've got two kings here. This could be a mom and their children. This could be, because these two are in some kind of deal together. This one is struggling a lot and not telling this king everything. This king goes to the empress for help. The empress says no. And as that's going on, this king's like, oh, shit, something's really not right. I got to pull out now. This could all be like a big family investment or family business. Um, it could be between. I don't I feel like it's financial. I don't feel like it's about love, to be honest with you. I feel like it's financial. If it is love, if it's love, these two people know each other. These two people know each other. They have some kind of friendship or they work together and um this king of pentacles has their eye on this empress and the empress denies this person and i think this person realizes oh shit like something bad's gonna happen between the two of us because of the empress denying them because they all know each other they all know each other or know of each other <sighs> again taurus thank you for the complicated reading <laughs> okay let's do three of pentacles in reverse and again, this could be happening to someone you know. It doesn't have to be happening to you. I don't like that they know each other. Why does that bother me that they know each other? Because they both know this. Yeah, I, You know what? If this is romantic, that's why this is bothering me. Because these two kings know of each other. They know of each other. And they they both know the empress. And it's like the, this king of pentacles attempts something with the empress and they say no. And it's like their association together. Hold on. Their association together really bothers me. I don't know, it makes me feel weird. Talk about three of pentacles in reverse. Talk about the three of pentacles in reverse for Taurus regarding love for the rest of 2019. Oh boy. Let's see here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, both Virgo energy and then the High Priestess in reverse. Piscean could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Yeah, this King of Cups knows if they stick around and keep dealing with this person, they're going to lose a lot of money. They're going to lose their investment or they're going to lose their stability. Oh, and I just heard credibility and credibility, credibility. Hmm. So I'm over the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This King of Cups doesn't trust this King of Pentacles. So I have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So I have the Three of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus regarding love for the rest of 2019. Okay, so I got four more cards out here. Ooh, Two of Pentacles in reverse, Cappy energy with the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, and then we have the Seven of Cups with the Five of Wands in reverse. Oh, God. This King needs to pull out now. All of this is their decision on trying to get out of the situation, okay? That two of pentacles in reverse, like, how do I get out of this? How do I drop this king of pentacles? How do I drop this investment or this business deal or this friendship or relationship that I've developed with this king of pentacles? They clearly are falling down into a hole of their own making financially or within their own stability. They're not telling me everything. They went to ask the empress for help and they said no. If the empress is saying no to them, then there's a good reason. You know, it's that kind of energy. They're really going crazy thinking about it, especially with the seven of cups and the nine of swords. Really going crazy thinking about it. I feel like this king of cups doesn't like confrontation. 
I feel like they don't like confrontation. That's why the Five of Wands is in reverse. They're trying to figure out how to get out relatively unscathed, but still have, still maintain um, what they have left as far as their credibility, their dignity, their finances. If this is just a business deal, overall energy. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy. So Virgo Gemini could also be Aquarius Scorpio for me as a reader. With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this is someone, this is a manipulator. This is like a thief to me. Someone who's like, who's after money. To me, this is a thief. Magician in reverse is um, manipulative, very manipulative energy. They know how to manipulate people. They know how to like pull the puppet strings on people. Ace of Pentacles in reverse is instability or loss of money. Okay. I think this King, this King of Cups feels like they got played. And for some, this is from a family member. What a mess, Taurus. Oh my God. Taurus, I really hope you're the empress in all of this. <laughs> I really hope you're the empress in all of this. If this is love for you guys, these two know each other and they're in some kind of competition for the empress. If these two know each other, okay? If this is love. Um, and I feel like this King of Pentacles tried to swoop in on this empress and they said no. And that's alerting the king that this is not a friend, it's a foe, right? Not a friend, it's a foe. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> I, God, what is with the telenovela readings lately? Okay, so let I'm just I'm just amazed. I'm just amazed. So let's go and pull the goddess deck out. Jeez. Uh what energies are beneficial for my Torians to harness regarding the spread? Keep in mind it's a goddess deck, but my god, so you can use these energies too. I know this King of Cups will do it, but they're really struggling with how because they really don't want to face conflict. They really don't want to, but they, they realize now who they're who they're dealing with and who they know. And yeah, and I feel like the Empress is the only one that's just like has great discernment here. And it's like the second this King of Pentacles steps to this Empress for either a business deal or some kind of romantic offer, they say no. And then they're like, oh shit, what do I do now? <laughs> Shit, what do I do now? So complicated. So complicated. Uh, what energies will be beneficial for my Torians to harness regarding this spread? God, they don't even write movies this good. <laughs> oh. Jeez, everyone's getting this one lately. Anya, leap of faith. Take a risk. King of Cups, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action this king cups needs to take that leap of faith and just fucking go just go and cut the cords get out while they can get out while they can uh what other energies would be beneficial for my taurians to harness regarding this spread wow that's it on the bottom we have oh very nice artemis the Guardian. Oh, I love this one. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Yeah, this King of Cups is really nervous about what they're about to lose. If most of you, this is financial. I would say probably 90% of you. It's it's fine. This is a financial reading. But to take a leap of faith into breaking away from this King of Pentacles, because at the end of the day, this King of Cups is protected and they can get out now. They're like spirits screaming at them to get out. Hold on. Where are all these cards? Hold on. <laughs> My board gets so messy. Spirit's literally screaming at them that this is not going to lead you down the path of happiness. You can get out now and you'll be fine. You can get out now and be fine. End it now. Don't resist ending this. They're not telling you everything. They're in it for themselves. Yeah, definitely. So let's go ahead and read these off. <laughs> okay. Anya, leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Procrastinating about your dreams won't make them go away. Neither will it make them happen. Indecision is the death of soul's burning passion to improve, grow, and learn. Don't worry about making a wrong decision. Instead, worry about not making a decision at all. 
Then take time to pray, meditate, investigate, research, go on nature walks, and make your decision. Once made, the universal energies will immediately support your decision and doors will successfully open as if by magic. The magic you see is that you've set your mind to accomplish something. And in this in and this intention is what sets you on your magical journey. Trust that the universe will support you in all ways. Trust that your intention is clear and right. For you. And then take a leap of faith and jump fully and squarely into the midst of putting your dreams into action. Don't hesitate or delay a moment longer. King of Cups, get out. <laughs> Drop this King of Pentacles. They ain't your friend. They ain't your friend. They're not on your side here. Your dream will come true. Your chosen path is the right one for you. Heaven supports you fully on your mission. Your material needs will be taken care of. Take action steps toward the realization of your dream break your dream into achievable baby steps so that it's easier to start and keep going anya is a powerful celtic goddess and fairy queen who gave birth to incarnated fairies from her romances with mortal men anya is revered in ireland for helping to grow crops and oversee animals you can call upon anya when you need additional guidance and the courage to take risks oh man i feel for this king of cups male or female does not matter i, I feel for them though all right so let's look at artemis Guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Like me, you have a sacred mission to spread love and light. Yet, this isn't a position that comes from tension or worry. Instead, the gentle essence of a joyful heart and lighthearted laughter sets your power into motion. Why would there be any tension in your mind or system unless you believed that you were somehow unsafe? And how could you be unsafe when you've called upon the spiritual warriors to watch over you? Your prayers have activated the flawless protected protection of heaven. So ease your mind of all cares and concerns and concentrate instead upon instead upon your holy mission. The angels are watching over you and your family. Your future is safe and secure. All your needs are being met and will always be. The worst is now behind you. The Greek goddess Artemis is the twin sister of Apollo, the sun god. She's a powerful tomboyish goddess who prefers to spend her time in the woods with wild animals. Artemis has carried at bo a bow and arrow ever since they were given to her in childhood, yet she never uses them to hurt anything. Rather, the energy of her bow and arrow is a talisman that helps her focus her thoughts and intentions. She always reaches the mark of her manifestations. Artemis helps us concentrate and focus as well. She offers protection to all who call upon her, particularly women and children. Very nice. I, I do, I don't know why I'm getting this all of a sudden. No, I know why I'm getting this. Uh, for some, you will find salvage like in family. Um, with very uh, strong feminine matriarchal um, energies like grandmothers or mothers or people who are mothers. They don't have to be like the matriarch of a family, but people who, um, women who have children or run households. Uh, for some, they're, they're going to find um, a refuge in that, okay? Particularly this, I'm talking about this King of Cups, all right? Wow. All right, let's get the spirit animal deck out here for advice and then we'll wrap it up. Okay. How am I doing on time? Oh, I'm really good on time. Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread? 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 One more. Okay. Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Let's see here. Yeah, time to let it go. Groundhog Spirit 31 breaking down to a four. King of Cups, yes, you invested in a dream. That's what you're holding on to. And this King of Pentacles was helping you in that process. And unfortunately... It's not working out the way you, you expected. And that's okay. It happens sometimes. But you got to get out now. Okay? <laughs> you got to get out now. You got to get out now. You know, this could also be... Um, the King of Cups and King of Pentacles could have also been in a relationship together. Sorry, I just need to make sure I, I explain this energy a little bit more. Because I know it's complicated. I know it's a little complicated. Um, please don't get fixed on the genders. Please don't get fixed on the genders. Two kings can be a man and a woman. Or two women or two men, okay? For some, this King of Cups was in a relationship with this King of Pentacles, and this King of Pentacles tried to step out of that connection to um, 
make it up make a proposal of some kind or propose an opportunity to an empress empress can be a man or a woman and they were denied and the king of cups was all that like oh shit like this king of pentacles this person i'm in a relationship with has no interest in actually being in a relationship with me i need to get out now okay so that could also be the case for some here but i do feel this is mostly about finances Any other advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Let's see here. Ah, card vomit. Okay. Starfish spirit, open to infinite possibilities. I love that this card came out here because it basically says like, look, my king of cups, once you let this go, once you let go of this king of pentacles, there's so many doors that are going to open for you. <laughs> so many opportunities are going to open uh, open up for you because i do i do think this king of pentacles took up a lot of your time and a lot of energetic space for you king of cups and once you let go of them oh my god all of that space is going to fill up with more positive opportunities and more positive things in your life it might feel scary it might feel uncomfortable but it's going to lead you into a much healthier direction remember we got the world card in the pre-shuffle right it'll be much much better for you and remember you're protected. You're protected. Any other advice? Any other advice for my Torians? Oh, geez. A lot of advice. A lot of advice. <laughs> Any other advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Where are we at? 45 minutes? Okay. It might make a second video soon. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay. A lot of cards came out. Hold on. Let me organize them here. Oh, very nice. Glad those three came out together. Yeah. Oh, my God. Makes so much sense. So, like I said, we got a lot of cards. So, we have six more cards. Crow spirit. Co-create with spirit and moth spirit. Surrender now. Grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. Basically, let go of control. Let go of what you know is not going to work for you. Let go of who is you know, like the King of Pentacles, is not on your side. And take that leap of faith into trusting what the universe is telling you to do. And what's the universe telling the King of Cups to do? If I can hold this up. I have small hands. <laughs> oh, Lord. Spirit's telling this King of Cups, you gotta let this go. And get out. All right, made a second video. Just get out now. That's what, that's what Spirit's telling this King of Cups. Get out now. Trust what we're telling you. We promise we got you. We got your back. You're not going to fall and plummet and fall on your face and not be able to get up. We promise you'll be able to get up and we promise that we're there for you. But you have to take that leap of faith into trusting what we're telling you to do. Right? And then we have, it's more of that same energy. So I'm surprised it came out like this. Ant spirit, time to collaborate, which is usually working with someone else, which it could be that. It could be take your investment away from that, the King of Pentacles and put it to someone else, right? Hawk spirit, though, is a guard, is a guardian energy. It's a, oh, that's so funny. As I just said that, I rem remembered Artemis, guardian. Um, it's a spirit guide energy. Let spirit be your guide. And then we have antelope spirit. Life is speeding up with the energy of two. Working with spirit in this situation. Again, let me get all the cards. Working with spirit in this situation, king of cups. Trusting your gut, trusting your intuition, trusting what they're telling you to do to get away from this person, to let it all go. If you surrender to that and then just trust that you're being put into a really good place. For a lot of opportunities to come your way which they will they most definitely will when this card when this card comes out you're gonna have a lot of options in front of you okay you're really gonna take off and your investment is gonna finally progress if this is mostly financial your your investment is gonna finally progress if you were in a romantic relationship with this person and they stepped out to try to chase someone better or someone that they had more resources or money because for some you're dealing with a scam artist or a gold digger male or female anyway um you will find a relationship where your return of emotional investment is going to be very high, okay? Um, where it's going to be worth worth it. It's going to be worth it. And you're going to be fine and you're going to be really happy, okay? Oh, but you got to let it go, King of Cups. You got to let it get out now. Just get out now, okay? Guys, I know there was a lot going on in this reading. I know it was probably very overwhelming. There was a lot of details. And like I said, for most of you, this seems like a financial issue. Um, for some, it's definitely between all family members and finances. And for um, a small group of you, it's romantic. Okay? But I do hope that you found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram. Instagram posts will resume in 2020. I'll be live tonight to talk about the new moon eclipse on the 26th. I'll be live at 5 p.m. Pacific here on YouTube. And I will be live 
on Patreon tomorrow, uh, Christmas Eve day, the 24th at 11 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> I just had to make sure I remembered. I promise I put it in my calendar for reminders, so I'm not gonna like forget or anything. Um, but I love you guys and it was good. This was a crazy reading and I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your year, okay? Namaste.